Dietary protein and amino acid intake must meet the essential amino acid needs of the individual. But any intake in excess of about one gram of complete protein per kilogram of body weight cannot be incorporated into protein by the body. Since the body has no means of storing protein or amino acids, any excess is converted to glucose or fat and used or stored as such. The conversion of amino acids to glucose or fat requires that the amino group be stripped from the amino acids. This nitrogen must then be eliminated, putting additional stress on the kidneys. For a 180-pound male, consuming a diet made up of 55% carbohydrate, 30% fat, and 15% protein, only about half of the ingested protein, 8%, is used to build muscle. The rest is used for energy. Adding more protein to the diet, now up to 20%, does not change the amount used for building muscle, but the amount used for energy increases. This is even more evident as we change to 25% and 30% protein in the diet. The same trends are apparent for a 140-pound female. Note that the amount of protein used to build muscle stays constant, but the amount used for energy increases as we increase the dietary intake of protein from 15% to 30%. Since increasing protein intake cannot build muscle and does add a burden to the kidneys, most nutritionists advise people not to eat more than two times their calculated RDA for complete protein.